Hey guys, it's uh, John B. 3 IPS, and I'm doing a field operation here in the winter. I'm at a park here not far from my house, and uh, it's pretty cold, minus, uh, minus 20 with the wind chill uh, centigrade. So let's, uh, let's do this quick, see if I can't get a, a net check-in. Uh, I've got my little radio bag here. I've got my coax. This one I'm using, RG174. It's lightweight. Um, if I'm running at 40 meters, it's not a lot of loss. Got my microphone in the other pocket. Got my 817. Uh, I just added some new rails that were 3D printed, so we're all set. You can see it kind of protects it. Uh, it would have been nice to have it extend a little bit more. Because on the cranker knob, it extends a little bit. But anyways, it uh, still protects the radio, but... Uh, the rails uh, do add do add some weight. This is my uh, Pactena uh, antenna kit. Uh, I brought some of the pieces here that uh, that we use, and what I ended up bringing out today that I wanted to test out was a link dipole that I put together, and that's using the Pactena Mini. So if you look at my blog pages, you can compare the size of the Pactena Mini. Uh, compared to the larger one there. This is kind of nice. You can wind the wire around it as well, one-to-one -one ballon, uh, pretty strong, pretty rugged, and you'll see when I uh, clip it on. I've got some uh, carabiner clips here, uh, S, S clips, I think they're called, and uh, make it very, very easy to add on my, uh, my wire uh, to the antenna, to the ballon here. I need one for the center conductor. Pretty strong, pretty rugged. I've also got some smaller ones that I use, uh, made by 90s, uh, the little plastic ones. So this is a link dipole I put together, um, number uh, 26 gauge uh, Teflon coated wire. It's got the little banana clips, uh, banana jacks. A nice idea that the Pactena guys put together, and then I can link the link the antenna elements in. But more importantly. I have the ability to uh, also uh, clip in, for example, the wire element will clip into the banana jack here, and then I can clip this onto the, the S-Biner and, and be all set up uh, for my antenna. So that's that. Let's, uh, let's figure about getting that put together here and uh, get the antenna tossed up.